Hello, Steve Sata, to another episode of Dimitra's Dishes. Today I have a one pan comforting family meal for you. In Greek, it's known as Revisada Mekotopoulos of Furno. Basically, that translates to roasted chicken with chickpeas in the oven. It's, it's comforting, it's healthy, and it's so delicious. Let's get started. So, we're going to start with two onions that I'm going to that I'm going to cut in half, and then I'm going to thinly slice into half moons. So the onions are going to go in the pan and they're going to act as the bottom layer. I'm just going to spread them out. I'm going to pour about a quarter of a cup of olive oil over the onions. And I'm also going to season them with just a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. Set that aside. Now the next component to the dish is, are the chickpeas. Now I'm using store-bought canned chickpeas. These are already cooked. All I did was I put them in a strainer and I rinsed them out with a little bit of water. I'm going to season them just a little bit. I'm going to first squeeze the juice of half a lemon. You could use a whole lemon because it just goes so well in this dish. I'm going to add a little bit of salt and some black pepper. And I'm just going to toss the chickpeas so that way everything is coated and distributed, seasoned evenly. And the next layer is the chickpeas, so we're going to add those to the pan. And I'm going to actually open one more can of chickpeas. It looks like it needs just a little bit more. I just rinse that can out. It'll, these chickpeas will get the seasoning from the rest of the food. I didn't have to worry about seasoning them. That should be good. Next, the last component is the chicken. So I'm using skinless chicken thighs today because it's a juicy cut of meat. It's less expensive than breast, but you can definitely use breast meat or a whole chicken that's been cut up. These are 12 pieces over here. There is a lot. I'm going to first make the seasoning for it or the marinade. So in this bowl over here. So in this bowl over here, I'm going to add about a quarter of a cup of olive oil and the rest of the juice of this lemon. I'm actually adding a little more, a little more lemon. This is a small lemon because I like it very lemony, but you can control how lemony you like it. Now to this, I'm going to add some black pepper. Now add as much or as little as you like. Some crushed red pepper flakes, dried oregano, ground cumin, some paprika. This is sweet paprika, not the smoky kind. But if you want it a little bit smoky, feel free to add the smoked paprika. And some ground cumin. And then we need some grated garlic. I like to buy big packs of garlic cloves and then just to put them in the food processor and puree them until they're finely ground. That way I have it on hand in the freezer and I don't waste any garlic. I'll put the video up on top. If you don't have it already ground, you could just go ahead and grate three to four garlic cloves and that will be good enough. And just give everything a nice mix. The only thing that I didn't put in here, this is looking kind of dry actually, so I'll put a little bit more oil. The only thing that I didn't put in here was some salt. I'm just going to season the put the salt directly on the chicken. I don't like to put it in this marinade. I feel like it doesn't work properly. Now add this all to the chicken. And season it liberally with as much salt as you like in your food. And mix the chicken all together until the marinade covers all of the chicken and flavors it really well. And this is the part where you use your hands to do this because they work better than any other kitchen tool that you have. Now before we add the chicken, I'm going to add a cup of chicken stock to the pan. You could add water instead, but the chicken stock adds so much flavor. And then I'm going to go ahead and put the chicken pieces on top. I'm also going to stick in here a sprig of rosemary. Now you can definitely marinate the chicken and keep it refrigerated a day ahead of time. You could do this the night before. That way the chicken will have maximum flavor. But there's so much flavor in the seasoning that it's going to taste delicious anyway. The oven is preheated to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm going to bake this until the chicken is fully cooked, reaches 165 degrees. The internal temperature that is should be 165 degrees Fahrenheit. It's going to take about an hour to an hour and 15 minutes, maybe an hour and 20 minutes. Keep an eye on it. Once it comes out, I like to put some Kalamata olives on top and some crumbled feta cheese with some finely chopped parsley and then it is going to be ready to be served. One more thing that would taste fantastic in this with the chickpeas would be some uh, thinly sliced 
red peppers, the roasted red peppers that come in the jar, those are going to add a little bit of smokiness and brininess and sweetness. If you have them, throw them in. If you don't, that's okay. I didn't have them today. Bell peppers would also be great in it. I'll show you what it looks like as soon as it comes out. So it took about an hour and 15 minutes for the chicken to be fully cooked. Again, it depends on the cut that you're using. It also depends on your oven and if there's bone in or bone out. But that's how long it took these chicken thighs. I was going to uh, sprinkle the top with the olives and the the feta cheese, but I decided to serve it on the side instead and I just went ahead and sprinkled some finely chopped parsley just, a, just for some freshness. Now this is a whole meal on itself. All you would need to serve with this is some toasted bread if you're not worried about the carbs and a nice salad and you are good to go. It is time to take a bite. And the chicken is so nice and soft. Mmm. I did put olives and feta cheese on my plate because I love them. The chicken is soft and juicy. The chickpeas did not melt or anything like that, even though they were already pre-cooked, which of course, even if you're boiling your own, you want them to be cooked before you add them to the tray. The broth added really nice, a really nice light flavor to this whole thing. I think you guys are going to love this one. The recipe, as always, with the exact measurements, is on DemetriusDishes.com, as well as underneath this video in the description box down below. Let me know what you guys think in the comments and post your recipe request down there, and I'll see you all next time. Yes, us.